Hi everyone. If you're the kind of PC user who always puts system security a high priority, and you're currently running Windows 10 or 11, you should consider enabling Secure Boot on your UFI BIOS to add an extra layer of security to your PC. When Secure Boot is enabled, it will verify the boot process and ensure that only trusted programs launch during boot up. This helps prevent malware, rootkits, and other malicious software from taking control of your PC before the operating system loads. And if you were wondering if it has any drawbacks, I would say that simply speaking, it will only restrict your freedom to install older Windows operating systems, such as Windows 7, or alternative operating systems such as Linux, and some programs or device drivers that are not officially signed. So if you don't need that kind of freedom, enabling Secure Boot would certainly give you the extra system security and stability it offers. All right, now let me just show you how to enable Secure Boot on your UFI BIOS. But first, to find out your current Secure Boot setting, click the Start Menu button, type System Information, and then press Enter. On the System Information, look for the Secure Boot State item. For my case here, it's currently off or disabled. To enable Secure Boot, we will need to enter the UFI BIOS. To enter the UFI BIOS from Windows, open Settings app. On the Settings menu, if you're on Windows 11, click System, then Recovery, and then click Restart Now on the Advanced Startup. But if you're on Windows 10, click Updates and Security, then Recovery, and then click Restart Now under the Advanced Startup. Your PC will restart and boot into the Advanced Startup options. On the Advanced Startup options, Click Troubleshoot, and then Advanced Options. On the Advanced Options, click UFI Firmware Settings, and then simply click Restart on the following screen. Your PC will restart one more time, and this time you'll be brought to the UFI BIOS. All right, once you're on your BIOS, first, you need to look for the Compatibility Support Module or CSM setting if your board still supports it. Please refer to your motherboard's user manual to locate this setting if any, but it's usually under the boot settings. This CSM setting, when enabled, allows us to install older Windows operating systems, such as Windows 7 in legacy mode, on modern UFI-based PC. Since Secure Boot only works in UFI mode, the CSM has to be disabled first. Once you disable CSM, find the Secure Boot option. It could be under the Boot Settings or the Security Settings tab. Once you show the Secure Boot settings, you might have different settings like these. If your Secure Boot settings are like this, First set the OS type to Windows UFI mode. Then for the secure boot mode, you may select standard or custom. If you select custom, open the key management. You may install the default secure boot keys or create your own ones. For my case here, I will select standard secure boot mode. Then save your changes and restart your PC. But if your secure boot settings are like this, first enable the secure boot control. Then open the key management and enroll all factory default keys to force the system to user mode and install all factory default keys. Now go back to the previous screen, and you might still see the secure boot disabled. But don't worry, it will be automatically enabled once you save the changes and restart your PC. So go back to the BIOS main screen and save the changes you just made. All right, now to verify that your secure boot is really enabled, open the system information and look for the secure boot state item. All right, so that's how you can enable the secure boot on your PC. I hope you find this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.